Okay, Dad, here's what I have. I figured I'd do a video instead of just sending you pictures. I decided to go ahead and pull off the brick molding on the left side. I figured that wouldn't be too hard to replace, and I, I can do that myself. So I pulled that up, pulled the brick molding off all the way up there. Then I started looking at this inner piece, and you can see down here where all the water damage is, where it seeped in. So this is definitely going to have to be replaced. I cut it right there, thinking that this would come off. Um, and then I realized that this, I don't know if you can see in the video, but this piece of wood is the same piece as this coming all the way over here, which is the same piece that holds the, um, the holes for the, the door. Um, this piece right here, this one is the one I'm wondering how we're going to get that to replace well because this is all one solid um, piece of wood. And I was hoping that we could just pull it out um, and wedge it in right here, but I don't know how easy that's going to be. Um, the other side, this is where the leak is. Um, this brick mold right here is newer. This is some kind of composite material. It has absolutely no water damage. I don't know if it's a, if it's a type of plastic or aluminum or what, but that's pretty sturdy. Here's where the leak is right here. And you can see I haven't done anything to this side yet, but that's pretty squishy. Right there is a lot of water damage and about appears where it starts to feel solid again. Um, anyway, so that's what I have. Uh, I was going to go on up to Home Depot and get the brick molding, but I don't know what I'm going to do now because I don't have, and maybe this is poor foresight on my part, but I was hoping that I could just go ahead and replace this piece today, but then I realized that this is all one big solid piece of wood, and I don't know how, how easy that's going to be to fix. So uh, anyway, that's what we have, and I'll put this on YouTube, I guess, so you can see it there.